Hey guys, Pat1979. I just want to bring to you a quick video on the uh, Get Up 2 Pro uh, action camera. So, uh, you guys can see there, this is the one that comes with all the accessories. So, here's the camera itself. Uh, charge it up, put an SD card in there, micro SD card. And uh, right now I'm testing the waterproof case because this thing I want to I wanna be able to uh, to play in the waters with it and to uh, use it in the water so uh, you guys pretty much seen all the accessories you can see the, all the accessories on the internet what, what you can get from that so uh, let's put that out of the way way out of the way so I need a scot towel because I'm gonna dry this up so basically I'm doing a little bit of underwater testing on the camera so as you guys can see I got a weight to retain but the weight is not resting uh, is not holding the uh, the case so the case can move freely underneath it's just make, making it so it doesn't uh, step up so alright so now we're gonna dry this up I'll try to do this in frame here so I'm gonna dry it up open up the case and see what it does I pressed all the button a couple times there was a couple air coming out those buttons let me try to put that underneath here so you guys can see better so. And I can keep rinsing and just doing that. So, all right. So basically, I pressed all the buttons. There's three buttons in there: one in front, one on top, and one on the side here. So I kept pressing the button a couple times, just so, um, just so you, you know, you can use the water. See if you can use the uh, the button on the waters and stuff like that. So start, stop recording and and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna give it a quick dry just to make sure there's not water, no water is going to contaminate so in, in there I got just a little piece of toilet paper just to see if it was going to absorb some water so hopefully it won't have absorbed, absorbed any water so uh, we'll see though so that's why I'm doing this quick test and I just want to see for that case if it's going to hold up to uh, some underwater action and I keep drawing that little uh, button there, that little hinge. Still a little bit of water coming off. Alright, so like that. So now let's open this up. So to open the case um, on this one, you have to um, basically just press that little tab there. Just press it back and you twist. So like that. Click. Now it's open. And let's look inside if anything got wet, which is what I want to know. So let's look at where the buttons are. Seems to be dry. Nice. 100% dry. Well, hmm. Might be a little damp here. Let me look inside there. Well, it seems to be pretty good. That's on the outside, yeah on the outside so basically it's pretty pretty much dry so let me put the camera on the side there the case seems to be pretty dry no water got in so uh, yep cool so the water underwater case seems to be working great so um, I'll just make sure there's no water going back in there whoops so like that let's just close it back up so click so my camera is going to go back in there and I'm pretty much going to leave it there unless I need to you know play with the settings and stuff like that so or recharge it so yeah nice little underwater case can't wait to try it out I'm probably going to use that case for everything so uh, whenever I'm going to do some action sports or you know ride my bikes or stuff like that it's going to go in there so yeah, a little bit. The sound's gonna be uh, sound quality won't be that good, but at least the protection is gonna be there. So, all right, guys. So a little test for the Giddy Up underwater case. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, I'll be doing some footage in the future on the Giddy Up. So uh, hopefully, it's gonna give me some very nice uh, quality video quality. So uh, yep. So now my dinner is about to get cooked. So I gotta go. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one.